Softer have been on fire this year. Recently, they rolled out Softer databases, finally giving us a native backend. Then they went ahead and gave us field agents, enabling you to do much more with your data. And now they've released softer workflows, end-to-end -end automations. It's like watching a no-code platform evolve into a full-blown business operating system. So let's unpack what the new softer workflows means for you, builders, ops teams, and anyone looking to stick together half-baked systems. Hey there, I'm Alex Knowles from automationhelpers.com. I'm excited to share softer workflows because software has been improving and releasing at a rapid rate this year, and it understands the needs of business. It's exciting times because we are seeing a bigger shift in the no-code landscape. For years, tools like Softer gave us the front-end layer, a way to build apps and portals without code. But behind the scenes, we were still juggling other tools to manage our backend data and our automated workflows. Softer then gave us databases and workflows became the missing piece of the puzzle. With this new release, it's much easier for you to run your business using Softer. No more bouncing between platforms to handle your approvals, tasks, projects, and team management. Now you can trigger automated workflows using forms, button clicks, and your Softer data. And the best part, it all happens natively in the one tool, which means you don't have to jump between platforms and you save on subscriptions. Let's take a look at this and where the value lies. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. Here we have the front facing app where our team actually manages our projects and gets our work done. We can take it further and create a client portal so that we have a place for our clients to interact with us. And here we have our softer databases, which are pretty powerful out of the box, relational, fast, and made to work natively with your app, which is always a big win. The best part is just that. We're not relying on a third-party tool to be our backend like Airtable, Google Sheets. And of course, we're not paying for that third-party tool. So we're saving some money. And we've also got the newly released softer workflows. So here we can see that when a new client is added to our database for that project management app we saw, we send a welcome email. We can then add delays, send a second email, and set up an email sequence. So not only are softer workflows there to help you automate your business processes, but it's also there to lend a hand for your customer and client communications, plus much more. So here we are in Studio Nova project app. So here we are in the Studio Nova internal project management app. It's where the team gets their work done. We've got projects, calendar, team, and tasks, but I'm not here to show you the beautiful apps you can build with Softer. I'm here to show you how you can connect the backend with the rest of your tech stack and also automate things natively in Softer. So if we jump out of the preview here, back into the app itself or the app builder itself, I should say, and we know that we've got the data option now where we can actually connect and manage the data that builds the front end but we can also jump back into the home and manage our workflows. Here we can see this new feature on the side panel here. Now, the exciting thing is that not only can we create automated workflows, but we have some templates to begin building with rather than starting from scratch, which makes life a lot easier. So you'll want to jump in and take a look at those templates, but let's take a look at how we can actually build out an automated workflow. When you're creating a new automated workflow from scratch, you'll be prompted to select the trigger. Like with any automation tool that we are used to, Zapier, Make, N8N, Pipedream, whatever it might be. Well, notice the trigger events we've got here. It could be Airtable, Gmail, Google Sheets, software apps, databases, excitingly, a webhook, which we'll talk about soon enough, scheduling, and so on. So we're gonna go with the softer databases. Now here we'll see the available triggers, much like if we jump back and take a look at Airtable, we'll notice that we can only set up a softer workflow when an Airtable record is added or updated. No other reason. Gmail, when an email is received, but if we select that and jump in, we'll see that we have no filter on which particular email is actually used for this trigger event. We can of course apply logic and filtering directly into the workflow itself, but that means that every time an email is received, we are running an automated workflow. And that actually brings us to the next part of this conversation. Well, if you sign up for Softer Free today, you're going to receive 500 free Softer Workflow credits. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description of this video. Go check that out. So we know that on the free plan, we're going to receive the 500 Softer Workflow actions. On the entry level, the basic, 
we're looking at 2,500. As we jump up, 10,000 for the professional and 25 for the business. And that's what I was referring to. Because we don't have a filter on that trigger event, well, the automated workflow is going to run and we're going to run through some actions or steps and you're going to spend some credit. However, a simple workaround here would be to include a label ID for your particular inbox. That way, Softer knows what emails to pull through. Say you use Softer for your inventory or product management. We have the data on the back end that enables us to manage the suppliers, products, locations, etc. We've also got the front end, which enables our team and clients to interact with that data. And now we have workflows. So we took a look at how we could create a workflow from scratch and choose the trigger action. Here, I'm going to select softer apps, which enable us to run a custom workflow. If you'd like to see a video that dives deeper into running custom workflows with your softer apps, well, make sure to leave a comment below. Here, we're back in the softer workflow setup or editor, and I really, really love the UI. It's clean, drag and drop, and it's super intuitive. But we don't have to rely on setting up the trigger events and actions ourselves, because much like with Copilot in Zapier, we now also have a built-in builder. So if I just paste a prompt in and ask the code builder to create the automated workflow for me, let's see the quality that we get back. And here we can see it's actually generated that workflow for us. Now I'm just going to jump into the actions we have available. I'm so excited to share with you that we still have the ability to connect with third-party tools and set up automated actions elsewhere. In Airtable, we have the ability to add records, update, delete, and find. When it comes to the rest of those available tools, if you aren't happy with the summarization and the responses you get from the inbuilt software AI, you can lean on Anthropic or Apen AI to get things done. Now, any platform should offer the ability to connect and automate tasks through Gmail, Google, and Sheets. Here we can send, delete, and find emails. And when it comes to Google Calendar, well, we can sync with our scheduler. Now, we've also got the ability, much like any platform should in 2025, to send notifications and messages via Slack. And if we jump back, let's take a look at those actions we have built in. So we can utilize Softer AI, and we can also update our Softer databases. Now, we also have the ability to set up logic branching and filtering. We saw earlier that we can delay. We've also got the ability to reiterate and use loop actions. We we can send emails directly from software. However, I know that I'm going to be relying on the Gmail automation. Excitingly, we can call the API. We can also scrape a web page. So when it comes to enriching your lead data, if you've got that in software, that's an exciting one for you. And we can also extract a PDF. And something that just isn't really offered on other platforms is the ability to run a script which is so exciting. And beyond that, we also have the ability to drag in and pull in our data from our software databases. We see this, we rarely see this functionality offered by other platforms. So this is a big win for software. You'll find it as a run script step in Airtable. And then when it comes to the other platforms, you're gonna find it in Zapier, Pipedream, N8N, however, a rarity of your work management or your database management tools. And one last example I'm going to leave with you before I leave you is through this request tracker. Now we know all too often that usually in an HR setup or operation setup, people have holiday requests. They need budget for new equipment. They have sick leave or personal leave, maternity leave. Well, we know that usually these things get lost in email threads, Slack threads, or they're managed on a half-baked Google sheet or spreadsheet. Well, now with software databases, we can manage the request tracker directly in a database, create a front end so that our team can request time off, request budget, request leave, and we can also automate this all on the back end. Here we have our software workflow so that when an employee submits a form, a record is instantly created in your database. From there, we have an approval flow set up. A Slack or email alert can be sent to your HR manager. The manager would approve or deny the request directly via a button, again, in your software app. Think about that. And then if it's approved, it auto sends an email to the employee, plus it notifies anyone that needs to know. And if it's denied, it auto sends the reason why it's denied via email to the employee, and it also logs that decision. This way, each request is tracked properly. And you can also jump into your software workflows to see the history of your runs.
If you are ready to build smarter and you're already using Softer, I'll make sure to leave some other resources in the description of this video to learn more on how you can get started. It's available today, so there's definitely no time to waste. And if you are new here and new to Softer, well, I've left a link in the video description that'll give you 500 free workflow credits as soon as you sign up. So sign up for Softer free today and get those 500 free workflow actions to test and play with. And of course, I'm excited to hear what you're gonna build. So make sure you drop a comment below and let me know what workflows you're automating and what business processes you're going to set up.